Hello ladies, today I wanted to share with you my experience and a review on the Dr. Martin's Clarissa 2 Quad Sandal and I've recently had these for about two months now. I've been wearing them constantly non-stop and I find that I'm always reaching for them every chance I get. So I thought that I would share my experience with you because when I wanted to get these um, I tried to look online for reviews. There was very little reviews about these uh, sandals and I think they're just awesome so that's the reason why I'm here to share with you. Basically it came in this little box right here that says Dr. Martin's Airwear. I used to have a pair uh, when I was in college but that was a long time ago so I wanted to see if the quality was still the same as before and I'm here to tell you I'm very satisfied with them so basically it came in this paper brown box and it just has the logo everywhere like so the one that I got this is just one of them I'm going to show you two different type of leather this is the one um, that is in the patent leather it is black color and this is what it looks like I got it in a UK 5 uh, which is equivalent to a US 7. So we'll go into the sizing in just a little bit, but let's see what they look like. So basically the one that I am currently obsessing are these little cute babies right here. They are heavy, heavy. So this is what they look like. Okay, so before we go in any further, let's go into a little bit of a spec on these shoes right here, or these sandals. This is made with the classic Dark Martens DNA. You can see it everywhere on the shoe. It is in a gladiator style sandal, and I'm loving, loving the look of them. They are super cute to me. They are made with the three leather straps right here, and then one leather strap on the ankle with an adjustable buckle, and this buckle is in a super silver or like a uh, tarnished silver right here and it has the brand on this side right here that says Dark Martens super super cute and then on the opposite side it has these two little screws right here that holds the straps together and it also has the branding on there as well so since we're here let's talk about the back of the heel the heel has this little heel loop right here that gives it a little bit of a statement as well uh, give it a little bit of something in the back of the feet right there um, easier for you to slip the shoe on if you hold a heel loop appreciate that as much and then it has a little vent at the back of the heel right here so that you can uh, breathe your, your feet can breathe uh, throughout the hot days of the summer and then it has the classic Dark Martin stitching which is this orange stitching going around the whole shoe right here which I love 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 I think that is very very pretty and then also it is made of the classic Dark Martin's air cushion footbed and I'm telling you the footbed of this shoe or this sandal is dreamy it's so so comfortable to the feet and I just love love them when I wear them out honestly they are my favorite pair of sandals and a staple to my wardrobe at the moment also it has this durable outsole right here that is super super thick and you know that it's going to be super durable because of how thick and stable the shoe is so in the bottom of the shoe it has this type of gritting right here that helps you to stay grounded and stable in all terrains and all conditions weather conditions so you don't have to be afraid of slipping or falling with that and so that is basically the spec of this shoe oh let's go into the leather type it is made out of aunt sally which is basically a soft supple pebble leather which is what gives it this uh, pebble leather look right here and I have to tell you the pebble leather is super super soft I am super super glad that I decided to go with the pebble leather uh, the Aunt Sally because there was no breaking in needed I just basically slipped my feet in and then out the door I went that comfortable no blisters no breaking in time so I appreciate that so so much about these sandals 
Okay, so that is the specs and details on the Clarissa 2 Quad Sandal in Aunt Sally. And like I told you before I got the sandals, I also got it in the patent leather. And this one I still have around, but I'm going, I've never worn it outside. I am going to return them um, for reasons that I'm going to tell you in just a minute. Basically, this is the other pair uh, of Clarissa 2 sandal. It is just in a black patent leather or patent leather it is a very very shiny and so so sleek that's the reason why I decided to get them first I feel like they are super sleek and they are just so magnificent looking love the aesthetic of them however they are patent patent leather and it is very stiff it's not comfortable at all guys I felt that it pinches onto um, the top of my toes a little bit as my toes goes up and down as I'm walking. Not very comfortable and then the strap also cuts into my ankles a little bit just because the leather is so stiff. I do think that after a while it will loosen up and the leather might not be as stiff. It will get a little bit more comfortable. I just don't like that whole time frame of breaking it in so that's the reason why I decided to try a another uh, type of leather which is the Aunt Sally and I tell you go for the Aunt Sally because <laughs> that leather is so so comfortable however this is so sleek all right so for the specs of these this is patent leather and it has the same construction as the other one uh, gladiate gladiator uh, style sandal three straps here and then one on the ankle this one they wanted to keep it sleek so they opted for the black color buckle adjustable buckle right here and then the two little screws right here are also black color so it ties in with the whole color theme of this shoe and then I also have the heel loop which has the same uh, printing on it as the other one and then this one though uh, it also has the air cushion footbed. The footbed, I'm telling you, is so, so comfortable on Dark Martins. Nothing can beat it. And then the outsole right here is also rubber, but as you can see, it's a little bit thinner than the other one. Let me show you. On the Aunt Sally, it is a little bit thicker of an outsole than these. Maybe like half an inch thicker. So for these, it is about one and a half inches high, and this one is just around one inches high. So that is what this one looks like, and the bottom looks like this. It still has that grid construction that will keep you stable, and it's very durable, and will last for a long, long time. So classic DNA uh, style for dogs as well, except for the stitching around this one is also black. So they wanted to keep everything quite sleek and just minimal with this shoe, which I love and was strong to that at first. But like I said, the leather type has definitely stirred me off from keeping them so I'm going to send them back but yeah this is what the patent leather one looks like if you're interested in this one you don't mind or you usually don't have a hard time with breaking in uh, shoes with tougher stiffer leather then definitely try this one out definitely think it's so so pretty Okay, so let's wrap up my thoughts on these. The pros of these shoes are that I love the aesthetic of them and I feel that they go with everything in my closet from jeans to jean skirts to even printed uh, paisley dresses, uh, mini dresses, a little bit of a mid midi dresses. They go with literally everything and that is something that I love, the versatility of these. Um, it's really easy to style and you don't have to be gothic or into the grunge look to actually rock these. I do know that uh, Dark Martens are belonging to the 90s grunge era, but however, I feel that this fit my style and aesthetic very, very well. Um, I don't have a grungy gothic look, however, I do wear a lot of black, a lot of modern dressing, a lot of neutral colors, and my uh, dressing tends to be more of a neutral palette, and it does tend to be a little bit of a femininity mix inside of those styles. So this goes well with that style as well, so I'm glad to say that this is a great addition to my wardrobe. Also, the other thing that I love about this shoe is that the comfortable of the footbed, oh, 
you can't get away from that comfort it's just so comfortable when I put my feet through I very very seldomly say that I can wear this uh, shoes for more than seven or eight hours but these lasted so long and I wouldn't have a problem standing around in them uh, very very glad that I got these also the thing that I lastly love about them is that they look very well constructed the quality is amazing and the outsole is very stable and durable and I plan to have them for a long long time because look at that thick rubber sole and look at the grits on them you are going to be covered in all type of weather and all terrain if you're going to wear these and not be afraid that uh, you're going to slip or fall or anything like that so those are the pros for these the uh, con for these is that they are so so heavy like I said they're three and a half pounds in weight for both of the shoe now it doesn't feel super super heavy when it's on the feet because I feel like with gravity and the way uh, we're standing the weight is predominantly like to the ground uh, when you're walking it's not that bad uh, you get used to it but then again I feel like the weight of the shoe might be a little bit of a pro because I feel like I'm getting a little bit more exercise when I'm walking in them so uh, yes that is my only con with this shoe is that if you're somebody who's into more lighter uh, shoes then this might not be the one to go for but other than that I really really like them like I said a great addition to the wardrobe and I basically think that's everything for this video comparing between the Sally leather and the patent leather. I hope that's everything that I covered. Um that I need to cover. If you have any questions for me, always link it down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and turn on that notification bell so we can see each other in the next video. See you later. Bye!